Williams, I'm Brad, this is my wife Anna, Jane, Joseph, Philip, Thomas, and Rose. And we just want to share with you a little bit of our Advent traditions. Um, like many of you, we use um, we celebrate Advent with an Advent wreath and light the candles through dinner every night. And we also use a Jesse tree. Um, but tonight is uh, St. Andrew's Feast Day, and we actually lit a red candle in honor of St. Andrew. And today is the beginning of the St. Andrew's uh, Christmas Novena, and we wanted to share with you um, one of our special traditions, which is to pray the Christmas anticipatory prayer. And you pray it 15 times throughout the day until Christmas. And we're going um, to lead you in that prayer uh, right now. In the name of the Father, Father Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail and blessed be the hour and the moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary. At midnight in Bethlehem, in piercing cold, in that hour about saying, O my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires and the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and His Blessed Mother. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Advent, Christ King. Hi, I'm Jenny Wilmanski, and today I'm sharing with you some of my family's Advent traditions. The first one is one that probably a lot of you do, um, and that is a chocolate Advent calendar. And that's just a really fun way um, we get to prepare for Christmas and do the countdown, and my children take turns each day opening up the next door and uh, whoever opens it uh, gets to eat the chocolate that day. And we start with the youngest and work our way up to the oldest and then we cycle back through again. Um, another great way to prepare for Christmas that we really like is um, lighting an advent wreath before meals in the evening and then letting the candle burn during our meal. And also another one that we are particularly fond of is listening to advent music. I have an album playing right now that you can hear in the background. It's called Advent at Ephesus, and it's sung by Benedictine nuns, the Benedictines of uh, Mary, Queen of the Apostles. And it's something that you can find on uh, iTunes or Apple Music, but we really like to listen to it just in the car, when we're going to school or going to Mass or on our way home or running errands. It's just a great reminder during the season of Advent of what's coming. Um, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. And thank you. And God bless. Every year, my parents read me The Giving Manger. This story explains how giving gives us joy. On December 1st, you start on December 1st, and every time you do a good deed, you put a piece of straw in the manger. After, um, um, by Christmas Eve, you should have all of your straw in the manger. Okay. We're going to put baby Jesus in the crib. Hi, we're the Bearden family, and uh, we gather together for a family meeting every Sunday and uh, just talk about our week ahead and most importantly we come together to pray as a family so during Advent um, we come together and uh, light our Advent wreath and have a scripture reading and a special prayer family and one of our Advent traditions is that we throw a birthday party for baby Jesus and we bake a cake and then we sing happy birthday to him and um, we throw a party and wear party hats and it's just a really fun day. And now Barrett is going to tell you about another one of our special Advent traditions. Um, today I did something good and I'm going to put a piece of straw in this for our little baby Jesus. And what I did today is stand up for my friend. I really love them and they're my best. 
they're, they're the best friends ever. Bye. Hello from the Greenways. Thank you for asking us to share some of our Advent traditions with our Christ the King family. Our longest tradition would be lighting our Advent wreath before dinner each night. We've done this every year since we were married. My favorite tradition is decorating our home with our collection of nativity sets from all around the world. And finally, an educational and entertaining tradition that we used to do was a visit from the shepherd boy. This little guy is similar to Elf on the Shelf, but he doesn't cause too much mischief. He brings Bible verses to help prepare us for Christmas. He is fun and clever, and this year we decided that we wanted to share his joy and wisdom with the students of 2C. He has already taught the students about Bible heroes and reminded them about the true meaning of Christmas. The students named him Rudy, and we can't wait to see what Bible verse he teaches them tomorrow. Happy Advent, everyone!